pillow. Neighbours are having building work done, so if you can hear any banging, that is why. I do apologise. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Chloe. Thanks for joining and finding me today. So today's video is going to be a haul. I've got a bit from Primark, H&M and Zara. Thought I'd compile it into one video and there will be try on clips as well. I'll pop them in at the side as we go along. Just for reference, I am size 8 slash 10. Um, but I will say the sizes as we go along and I will link everything down below as well. So yeah please do stick around to the end of the video and if you do enjoy it give it a thumbs up please subscribe i would absolutely love it if you did stick around and thank you to everyone who has returned and continues to watch me i really appreciate your support um but most people that watch me are not subscribed so please hit the subscribe button and um, without further ado let's get on with the vid okay i'm going to start with the stuff from primark because i'm wearing the first item so it is just this white bodysuit it's like a spaghetti strapped bodysuit um it is so nice it feels so soft like the quality feels really really nice and i've been looking for kind of like basic pieces like this for so long um i know everyone is raving about the skims stuff but i don't know about you guys but i do not have the budget to be spending like 50 60 quid on a bodysuit that's plain this bodysuit was literally seven pound from primark and it is so soft so nice and it's not see-through because over the boob area there is like a second layer so it kind of like prevents any see-throughness um and it's just really like slinky and stretchy and it just feels so nice so i got this in a size small which in primark is a 10 to 12. i tend to go for a small rather than an extra small because it kind of it's like six to eight um and the six is obviously too small like perfect for me would be an eight to ten but this actually does fit me perfectly fine so yeah i definitely i'm glad i went for this size because also sometimes with bodysuits as well you don't want them to be too small because they can give you a big old wedgie <laughs> front and back and it is not nice so i tend to always get a small when i go into primark it's a thong bodysuit so it's really really comfortable and it's got poppers as well and i just really really like it for seven pound you cannot go wrong. The next item is another bodysuit. It is this like washed pinky lilac-y bodysuit. Um, again, it's a really stretchy material and it's kind of ribbed if you can see that. Um, but I just really liked the look of it. It kind of looked quite like acidy washed, like vintagey, um, and I just really was drawn to the colour. Um, it's got a big old scoop neckline, which I'm actually not the biggest fan of. It is just a nice comfortable bodysuit and I like the fact that it is long sleeved and ribbed and it's quite thick again it's a thong bodysuit and it's got poppers here as well and i just thought that this just looks really nice with jeans um i got this in a size small um and i believe that it was 10 pound i can't exactly remember but i'm pretty sure it was 10 pound and they had it in black as well i believe but i just thought that this pinky color was nice so i picked that up so they're the only two clothing items that I did pick up but then like I said I got lots of pyjamas and accessories so I did get these sunglasses which I just thought was so nice they're just like a tortoise shell sunglasses and they're like an oval shape which I just think is so cool um I mean I don't know I feel like with the bob it's giving like 2000s mum vibe but I'm here for it. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so yeah, I just thought these were really nice and they were literally £2.50. They were so cheap. Um, I, I think, if I do remember correctly, they had a little UV sticker on them. So I feel like they definitely do protect your eyes against the sun. But I don't obviously know by how much. But for £2.50, I was just kind of thinking of these as like a little fashion glasses. Um, they had so many, but these ones were just really cool. And just thought even like on the head, they just look nice. Then I picked up two packs of thongs, so I always go into Primark for my underwear because it's so cheap and I don't want to be spending a bomb on my underwear. So I did get a pack of three, one of the colours is actually in the wash right now, um, but it's, I've got this purple pair, pink pair, and then it's like a bright like turquoisey colour, basically the colour of my book that I'm reading right now this colour, <laughs> um, by the way, loving it so far, um, anyway, so yeah, they're a pack of three, I think they were £6, um, I'm really sorry, I've taken the tags all of, 
off of some of this stuff because with the Primark stuff I bought it quite a while ago and I did already film this video but I wasn't happy with it so I took all the tags off and then when I edited it back I was like oh I'm not a fan but I will maybe like insert the clips I did film or I'll just get the prices but anyway yeah there was a pack of three and I just loved these colours and I was thinking like for summer not that anyone really is going to see me in my underwear but I just thought these colours would look so nice with a tan especially the turquoise as well um but yeah I just really like those three and then I got another pack of three which look pretty similar but it's like a little peachy pair with a pink lace trim then there's a pink pair with a pink lace trim and then a green pair with a peach trim and these I got in a size small I do sometimes depending on which like style of thong I get I do sometimes um get a medium in the thongs just because some of them can be a bit tight and a bit small but I think I've picked these up in smalls and again I think they were like five pound or six pound but I just love Primark's underwear section and I used to work there years ago and I was on the underwear and pyjamas section and I just Everyone hated folding those little pants, but something about it for me was so therapeutic. And when I go in there, it kind of just takes me back. But yeah, I love the thongs. I feel like Primark have really stepped up their game in like the underwear section and pajama section. And I just can't cope. So I did also pick up this like bralette thing, bodice thing, um, because it was in the sale for a fiver. And I kind of just wanted it like I just really liked the color of this and I thought that this would look so pretty to wear like just on a night out or like bottomless brunch or something like that like under a blazer or a shirt with some jeans I don't know I just really really liked the color of it and also it's good because over the boob area like it is there's a bit of a layer so you're not gonna like flash a nip um and yeah I just really loved the color of it the lace trim of it I don't know I just really liked it and for a fiver I just thought that I could make it work on a night out like you know like I said under a shirt or a blazer um I got it in a 32d which actually is a bit small because I think I'm a 32 double d but Primark don't really do double d's in like this kind of thing um but it still kind of fits it's fine and especially if I've got like something over the top then it's not going to be too bad but yeah I just really really like the color and for a fiver couldn't really go wrong okay next up I have some pajamas I swear to god satin pajamas have me in a freaking chokehold like I am obsessed with satin pajamas I don't know why it just makes me feel like a rich mum just like housewife woman who's like got her life together she's like wandering around the house doing her skincare routine it just makes me feel like a bad bitch and that's not to say that I am because I'm not <laughs> but it makes me feel like that and who doesn't want to feel like that so I did pick up this pair of pajamas um they are unreal at first I thought mm, are they screaming grandma but then I was like yeah she's kind of giving chic grandma I don't really care um so this is the top it, like I said it's just like a satin material um and it's just a button up top there will be try on clips with these really nice little iridescent buttons and I just really liked the colors of this like I said it kind of is giving a bit grandma but I actually really don't mind it I love it and they feel so nice and soft so I got the top in a size small and it was 12 pound and I don't know, I just really love it. And I loved like how there's this little yellow like piping. I don't know, I just think the colours of this are gorgeous. I hope it's picking up all right on the camera. Um, but yeah, I just think the colours are so lovely. And they just screamed spring. And now that we're in March, I just was like, it is spring vibes all the way. Um, and then I obviously got the matching bottoms, which are a wide leg bottom. Um, I am five foot two, so they are like... They are quite long on me, but then I do have these like platform slippers from Primark, which I have shown you guys before. So I feel like that kind of helps. <laughs> like, and also they're pajamas, so I'm only wearing them in the house. They're not going to drag on the dirty floor or anything like that. But they have a really stretchy waistband, and they also have a drawstring as well, which I really do appreciate because sometimes you just want to like tie it up a little bit tighter. Um, I got these in a size small as well. I actually probably could have gone extra small in these just because again they are like elastic um but I do like to not be restricted obviously when I'm in bed um and these were 12 pound as well so for the whole set is 24 which I actually don't think is too bad for a nice pair of like 70s 
satin pyjamas um, and like I said they're wide leg which is what I just I just love I just want to be comfy in bed right, I told you I went a bit Primark pyjama heavy so I have two more pairs so the next pair is this little set now this set I wish you could feel it through the screen because it honestly is so soft you know when it's kind of got that like felty material to it like that is how this feels it is honestly so nice so the top is this little like cami top um and it's got a little lace trim around this front which is so cute i love the color of this like sagey green it's this paisley print um it kind of is giving like child print but i actually think it looks cute um the straps are adjustable as well which i really appreciate because the problem with cami tops like this you go to bed with everything in place and then you wake up and your tits are out here like your nipples just pointing out of the top and it's like okay what's happened so the fact that you can like really pull these tight prevents that from happening which i just appreciate because sometimes you wake up and you're just like oh god all my dignity is out the window but yeah they're just so nice and soft and then they have matching bottoms um and they're just a wide leg really soft really stretchy pair of trousers um they are elasticated waist they don't have a drawstring but i they fit me fine i don't i didn't really need them um i got this in a size small i want to say let me just double check for you guys yeah i got it in a size small and the best part about this set not only the fact that it's soft not only the fact that it's like a really cute color it was 12 pounds and it came together as a set on a little hanging up rack. It was £12 and it is honestly so soft. They had this in other colours as well. They had this little pink one with like flowers on it, which was so, so pretty. And I was, I actually picked that one up first. And then I kind of was like toying between them both. And I asked the member of staff, she was probably like, go away. But I was literally like, excuse me can you please help me decide which one I should go for because I honestly can't pick and she was like well the green ones are a lot softer and I was like you are right they are so I went for the green um but they had other colors but they were like different materials but for 12 pound like honestly a dream okay and then last but not least from Primark is another pair of pajamas which I kind of they're, they're not a set I've kind of made them a set so first of all I just picked up these bottoms because they're they just seem really soft and really comfy um and they're just i don't know if you can see but they've got this little like detail to them um they're just like a stretchy waistband there's no puller the stretch is quite tight um so definitely go for your like normal size or upper size i got a small um and yeah they're just like a wide leg but they're just they just feel really nice and soft um the only thing about these is that obviously they are white so they are a bit see-through i mean i don't wear underwear to bed um because you've got to let the girl breathe but i found that if because i tried them on obviously with underwear on um just to be hygienic obs and you could see the underwear through them but then when i took i knew i was keeping them and i took the underwear off you can't see anything if that makes sense the only thing that is a bit annoying is that you can really see the pocket bags um i guess because it's like a double lining you might be able to see in the try on clip a bit better but you can really see the pocket bag which is kind of annoying and doesn't look the cutest but i'm not like gonna worry too much i can't remember how much these were i want to say 12 pound but might have been less they weren't any more than 12 um and i got them in a size small they did have a matching top with them but i then saw this top which i kind of wanted more than just the white cami top um, it is this little crop top and it is so pretty and cute so it's got little like a little flower detail at the front lace trim like flowers all over it and it's just really cute and soft it is very cropped like when I say cropped it's like the elastic comes just under my boob um, but I thought this with the trousers just will look really really nice it was next to a pair of little blue shorts but I don't know I just kind of liked the whiteness of it like the double white so i got the trousers not the shorts but the shorts were also very cute but yeah i just thought this top was so cute i did get this in a medium because it was the only one left but to be honest i'm glad i did because if i went any smaller i don't think it would cover my areola you know so yeah um this isn't see-through it's got like a lining 
inside so there's no nippage being shown i mean to be honest i only live at home with my mum so i don't really care about that kind of thing but to be honest they're not see-through anyway so it's all good in the hood okay i'm going to show you the bits from zara now um i only bought two things i have got some bits from h&m i've got most of the stuff for, like clothing wise is h&m so i'll show you that next but i did pick up two pairs of trousers from zara and the first pair is just this pair of jeans, which I do think I'm going to take back because even though I got them in a size 10, they are really tight on me. So basically it's just this like really light wash gray denim jean. They're a straight jean. It says high rise ankle length. I wouldn't say that they're that high, um, but yeah, they're a really nice wash and I was just really after a nice pair of grey jeans but unfortunately they're just tight around my thighs um and a little bit tight on the waist as well I don't think to me this 10 is a very small 10 not gonna lie because I the next pair of trousers that I've got to show you are a size 8 and they're bigger so I'm a bit confused but I mean rule number one is try on denim in Zara but I just couldn't be bothered the queue was so long and I thought I'm getting a size 10 that should be fine no, 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 no. I should have just queued up and tried them on because the Zara near me is not that near. It's about like a 40 minute drive away. So I'm going to have to go back, which is a bit annoying, but it's okay. Um, but anyway, yeah, they're, they're really nice. They're a really nice color and they just go down and they're a straight leg and they've got a bit of distressing at the bottom. Um, they're perfect length on me. I'm five foot two. They definitely are a perfect length. They hit me right on the ankle. I guess if you were taller, they'd be a bit more cropped, but it depends what you are after. Um, but yeah, for some reason, they're just really tight on the thigh area, like upper thigh. Um, and then just, I don't know, just around this whole hippage area, they're just a bit tight. Um, but I really do like the wash of them. And I was just after a grey pair of jeans, but anyway. Um, so like I said, I got them in a UK 10, which is a 38 Europe size. And then they were £30, 29.99. So they were quite expensive. Um, so I'm definitely going to take them back. But it's a shame because they are really cute. And I just wanted a pair this colour. But it wasn't meant to be. And then next up in Zara, I did get these cargo trousers. Because they were on a rack which said 15 99 So I was like, wow, bargain. So they're like this beigey, stony colour cargo they're wide leg um and they've just got pocket there pocket there like they're not too overly cargo-y like they're just a really nice cargo trouser and I just liked the colour I haven't got any in this like darker stony colour um so I thought I'd pick them up and I got these in a size 8 so they're 36 they're a mid-rise regular length so yeah they're not high rise they're mid-rise so they hit me around my belly button which is kind of annoying because I feel like when you're not, for me personally, like I haven't got the flattest tummy. So like when stuff comes mid-rise, I feel like my chub just <laughs> hangs over a little bit. But I'm going to not wear, I'm just going to not wear like tight stuff with these. I'm just going to wear like t-shirts or like jumpers and hoodies. Like, do you know what I mean? So it's not going to show the chub. Anyway, um, also it doesn't matter like wear what you want, who cares? But also, you know, insecure. Um... But yeah, I just really like the colour. And for £15.99, I was like, absolutely, I'm going to get those. So, really cute. But like I said, these are a size 8. Bear in mind, these are mid-rise, I guess. And these are high-rise. So, this is going to sit more around, like, your hips. Or is that going to sit more around your waist? But even so, like... Let me just hold up. There's quite a big chunk. Bear in mind, they're the 8 and this grey jean is the 10. Like, that is me holding them up together. Like, I think that's quite bad. Because if these grey ones were a bit more like this, they would fit me fine. I just feel like sizes are just stupid. Like, we just shouldn't go by sizing. Um, but yeah, these are really cute and such a bargain. They had other colours as well, but I went for these ones because they were just a bit different um they had like a lighter wash more of like a beige color um and i'm pretty sure they had a khaki green maybe a black as well but yeah there was so much more i could have picked up in zara but it was so busy when i got in there that i just really struggled to look and a lot of the stuff in zara is like so short like the skirts and the dresses are just so cute but they're just so short and i was like oh, you know i don't want to have to wear something underneath 
Okie dokie. Now, last but not least, we have the amazing H&M. I will say H&M, I feel like it's just my fave. The sizing, I just feel like it's on point. The clothes, the prices, on point. And I just really love H&M. I used to work there for many years and I am a stan. I love H&M. <laughs> so the first thing that I got is this little co-ord. Um, this is definitely for like summer time. Um, but I just saw it and I couldn't leave without it because there wasn't many left and I was like, I need to get it. So this is the little top. It's just like a cream and black striped top. And it's this, and I don't know what this is, but it's like the, the knit that's like a really thin knit and you see it in like the summer. I don't know. But yeah, this is the top. Really cute, really sweet. Got it in a size small, was $15.99. And then it came with, well it didn't come with, but it was with a matching skirt. So the skirt is like a midi skirt, same material. Um, and then at the bottom, it, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see, but it's like kind of frilly, but not frilly. Like it's just like a really nice bottom and it's so flattering. Like I said, it's like a midi. I mean, I definitely could wear it low waist, like on my hips and it would be maxi but like I said to you guys before my tummy is not flat so I don't like to have my whole belly out um so I was wearing it more like high-waisted and it's still cute like it's just cropped like it doesn't hit me obviously on my ankle it's more like mid-calf but I still think it's cute with like a little black sandal it's just gonna be a really easy chuck on summer piece like just barbecues or anything like that and it's stretchy and it's just comfortable you know just comfortable but obviously the material is kind of like that fine knit so I'm definitely gonna have to wear like some nude pants or it would even be cute as just like a little bikini cover up on holiday um so I got the bottom in a size small as well and it was 29.99 so I mean I feel like 30 pound actually for this guy is maybe a bit steep even though I just said their prices were on point. But I, I don't know. I do think that this is quite steep because I've got something in here. I've got like a denim jacket in here, which was the same price. as, In fact, cheaper than the skirt. So the pricing is a bit off, but it's fine. I had like a gift card and a voucher. So that's probably why I was like, yeah, I'll get it. Um, so for the whole set, it's £36. So to be honest, not that bad. No. 46 pound so not that bad i guess for a whole outfit but still anyway really cute really stretchy i got the i said the nice small the whole thing is this small but i love that i think it's gonna look so nice i have another co-ord and i'm just obsessed with this so it is a denim maxi skirt and a denim jacket co-ord so i'll start with the jacket so this is the jacket it is like this kind of black washed denim with these big silver buttons like our poppers down the front which I am more of a gold girl like I am definitely a gold jewelry kind of girl but I do like to mix it up I think I've mixed my metals today so I'm not really that bothered um but I just love this I just thought it was really cute it's kind of like a bomber jacket but in a denim style I like that it's not got a collar especially with the bob these days collars just kind of get on my nerves because it makes the hair like flick out and it's just annoying so I appreciate that there's no collar um yeah I just I don't know I just really love the detailing on it I really like the tobacco colored thread that just matches really nicely with the denim um so yeah got the jacket which I got it in a size small the tag says that it was 37.99 but it wasn't it was 27.99 so when I got to the cash desk it was a nice little surprise and then there's a matching denim skirt, which is maxi. Well, on me, it definitely is. Um, and it's just the same colour. I think it might be a tiny bit lighter. Um, I think basically on bottoms, you get a lot more like blasting. So it kind of looks a lot lighter. But it still looks really cool together. And um, it's got a big slit down the front, which I appreciate because it means I can walk in it. Yeah, it's just a really nice thread colour, wash colour. I just really, really love it. And as a co-ord, I just think it's so nice. It could be worn, like, casually, night out with a nice heel. It's just, it just makes me feel quite put together. Um, so I got the skirt in a size 8, and it was 37 99 and it fits me perfectly. So I really, really like that. And the fact that, obviously, it's a two-piece, but I can wear the skirt on its own, the jacket on its own. I just love it. We're almost at the end, guys. Please stick with me. <laughs> 
Um, next up, I did get this little beige top. Now, this was in a section which I don't typically always shop in. It is the label that's like a silvery colour. Um, and that tends to be obviously more like the workwear slash just like a bit more formal wear. And the price point is normally a bit higher. But actually, they had some really lovely stuff in that section. And I did see this top, which they had in other colours. Um, they had it in like a black and white stripe, like a chambray blue kind of colour, I think a navy, a grey, maybe a black. They had quite a lot of colours so I'd definitely go back and get more. Um, because I just thought it was such a nice little top which you could wear on a night out. Um, and it's just quite put together. The neckline is just like a little bit higher up. It's got this ruching at the side. Um, it's not cropped but it kind of hits like a nice length if you're wearing it with trousers or whatever um and it's just really nice and i got it in a size small and it was 9.99 so it was such a bargain so cheap um and yeah it's just a really nice slinky material i will say this color is slightly see-through um but if you wear like a nice nude bra under it i feel like it'll be fine um i just need one that's quite like covered up if that makes sense because i hate it when you can see like the line of the bra which i think in the trial clip you can um but obviously if i'm actually going to wear this out i will get a bra that kind of looks nicer but i just thought it was a nice alternative to a bodysuit um i liked the, that the neckline's a little bit higher um so yeah i just thought it was a really nice top Okay, and then last but not least from H&M and this whole haul is a pair of grey trousers. They're kind of like a suit trouser. Um, they're a really nice grey colour, but they've got this like sporty take to them. So this is the top of them. They obviously have this white drawstring, which just gives them more of a sporty feel straight away. Um, and it actually does work. It's not like a fake one. So I really appreciate that. And then down the side of the leg is this white piping, which just makes them look really cool um, and then they're like a wide leg trouser they are actually quite wide I will say um, they're quite wide like all the way down um, I feel like I probably could have gone a size down just because of that but it's still fine um, these are, were a size small and they were 15 99 I've worn these quite a lot they're really nice they're very flattering they're easy to wear with like a trainer and a t-shirt um, yeah, they're just really, really nice, and I just think for $15.99, it's so good for a nice trouser like this, um, and if you do work in, like, a casual office, then I feel like this is definitely a good way to kind of, like, wear something a bit different than just, like, a suit trouser. Um, yeah, they're really nice. They've got fake pockets on the back. I thought they were real. I was trying to, like, get the, um, thread to kind of pull apart but it didn't so they're fake but yeah I don't know I just think they're really really lovely trousers they feel really nice and soft and yeah they're lovely H&M is smashing it I just wish I had like money to burn because honestly I could have bought so much stuff but that actually is everything from today's haul I really hope that you did enjoy the video and let me know down below if there's anything any other hauls you want me to film any places you want me to shop from um, let me know but yeah please do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel because I'd absolutely love it if you did stick around and until next time see you then